Welcome back to Suvida Everything, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you my take on the Arby's classic roast beef sandwich. Check it out. And this is our competition for today. I mean, if you've never had an Arby roast beef sandwich, this is what it looks like. Now, do not judge a book by its cover. I know the buns look so smushy, but hey, the important thing is how does it taste? And before we do that, let's take a look at a cross section. Oh boy, they are not cheap with the meat, that's for sure. At the same time, you can see that there's a very thin layer of cheese and also on the bottom, there's some type of sauce. It is also very clear that they are using an onion bun. But hey, let me take a bite and let you guys know how it tastes. Right away, I can tell you that the meat is extremely tender. And I think mainly the reason is because they cut it so thin. The sauce is kind of sweet and almost like barbecue sauce and obviously they have an onion bun which tastes very similar to brioche and the cheese oh boy the cheese is cheese whiz I am almost a hundred percent sure and overall as I take my final bite let me tell you something it tastes good especially when you are a beef lover like me you can appreciate a good sandwich and even though this one is not great it is good but now let me show you my version of this roast beef sandwich and everything starts off with the meat this is one of the cheapest roasts you can ever find it is an eye round now even though it's not a tender cut it does have an incredible flavor and one of the wonderful things about cooking at sous vide is that it can make it really tender as always the first thing we gotta do is to put some seasoning on it so for that i always started with salt now this is a huge piece of meat you want to make sure that you season it well and when i say well i mean it it is crucial to make sure that every single edge of this roast is perfectly seasoned do not be afraid of salt that's one of the other great things about sous vide you will actually create an equilibrium of salt whenever you're cooking it in the bag so just make sure you add enough now once that's done, the next thing to do is to add your rub. And for today, I'm going to be using Guga's Barbecue Rub. One of the funny things about this rub is that you cannot buy it. However, you can make it at home and it's super easy to do. And if you have not seen a video that I made about it, check it out in the description later on. This rub goes well with chicken, pork, fish, and beef. And you should always have it at your disposal at any time. As you can see, once I was done, every single edge of this roast was perfectly seasoned. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things I love in a sandwich is a smoky flavor. So for that, I'm going to be using my smoke to smoke this roast at a low temperature. I'm talking about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna leave it in there for two hours. Once the time was up, I took it out and this is what it looks like. As you can see, the mahogany color is a sign that the smoke penetrated in the meat and that will make it really tasty. But now we gotta move on to the most important step and that is to make this as tender as possible. And to do that, nothing does a better job than sous vide. So the only thing left to do is to bag it up, vacuum seal it and then it's ready for the water bath. But first, we gotta make that RBC sauce. And here's my take on it. As always, exact amount always in the description down below for you. I started with a little bit of ketchup, followed by Worcestershire sauce, one of my favorite hot sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, and to finish it off, a little bit of water. Now the only thing left to do is to mix it well and combine all of these ingredients together under low heat. The last thing you want is for the sugar to burn. But once all of the ingredients has combined, your sauce is done. That is as easy as it gets. And let me tell you something, it is very similar to the Arby sauce and it should pair up nicely with our roast beef sandwich. Now the next thing to prepare is our cheese sauce. And as I mentioned previously, I'm pretty sure Arby's use only cheese whiz. But hey, we're gonna do a little bit more than just cheese whiz. So for that, I started with a little bit of butter. Let it melt all the way and threw in a little bit of all-purpose flour. One of the most important thing whenever you're doing this is to make sure that you cook that flour all the way through. How do you know when it's done? At least for me, when it starts smelling like pie dough, I know it's ready. But if you like a visual, this is the color that you're looking for. Once that's done, the next thing to add is a little bit of cold milk. Milk. Mix it well and combine all of those ingredients together. I highly recommend using a whisk for this. It makes the job a lot easier. As you are whisking it, trust me, everything is gonna start thickening up on you real quick. And as you can see, in less than a minute, it's nice and thick. Now, the only thing left to do is to add a little bit of this ingredient. Yes, my friends, cheese whiz. As I mentioned, I'm pretty sure that's what RB uses. So I went ahead and added three tablespoons of it. Just like before, I keep it under medium-low heat and combine everything together. Because once you have done so, you're your sauce is done. I'm telling you right now, this is delicious. And it is a hundred times better than the Arby sauce. That I can guarantee you. Now the last thing is the buns. I know Arby's is using an onion bun, but to me at least, brioche is the perfect combination. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be using. As always, make sure you toast those buns. But now the most important thing is to go ahead and tenderize that roast. And for that, you already know I'm gonna be using sous vide. I set my water bath at 131 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna be cooking it for 24 hours. Hours. And I cannot wait to show you my roast beef sandwich.
Now you gotta remember, as I mentioned to you, eye round is a tough cut of meat, and you gotta cook it for a long time at lower temperature if you want the perfect doneness. That's why I chose to do it at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours. That thing is not only gonna be nice and tender, but it will be extremely juicy. We are hungry, it is ready, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. If you could only smell how wonderful this thing smells as soon as it comes out of the bag, everybody. It is incredible. At the same time, you gotta remember, those juices, you gotta reserve it because they are gold. Now here's the plan. If you wanna slice it as thin as possible, the best way to do it is to let it rest on your refrigerator overnight. Now this will do two things. Will not only produces a better flavor, but it will also make it really, really easy for you to slice it really thin. And for that, I'm gonna be using my slicer. Now a slicer will do a much better job than your hand because you can get as thin as you saw it there from Arby's. That's what you want because it gives you a wonderful mouthfeel when you're biting the sandwich all the way through. If you don't have a slicer, just go to the next option, which is get a very nice long knife so you can slice it as thin as you can. But now I say, I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. Are you not working? Look at that. Turn on, thing. This is just a piece of junk. Don't buy it. If you're gonna buy it, buy a good one, everybody. But hey, when life gives you lemon, you make lemonade out of it. What are you gonna do? Now I'll tell you one more time. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful sandwiches today. What do you think, Mama? What's going on here? Uh, I know, you have a little bit extra more than yeah, me. Yeah, it's like... Uh, what is going I on only here? have two, you have four, Mama. What's up with What's that? What's up with that? <laughs> like, yeah. trying to fatten me up over here. For my defense, you know, I've been throwing a lot of cheese at you. I know you're okay. lactose intolerant. Yes? 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 <laughs> yes. So here's the deal. I got you two of them. One without cheese and one with cheese. That way you can choose. Why, why are you gonna do that? Because I'm a good cousin. But you cannot say I'm gonna get you without cheese and then put one with cheese in front of me. <laughs> you gonna choose that one? Yes. <laughs> Lactose intolerant, but he loves cheese. Oh, wow. I mean, like... <laughs> Let's see the original flavor. This is the real deal before we try the sous vide version. You ready? All right. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Original Arby's. Hmm. The yeah. meat is extremely the meat tender. Is very soft. I think it's all because they cut, you know, so thin. So, yeah, it's like if you guys never had it, it's like paper thin. You can almost see through it. I have to stop already because I'm gonna regret it later. <laughs> but it's so good. It is good. It is good, everybody. Oh, you keep going. Oh, you see that? Now, don't put on the comment section because I'm mean to my mom because I give him cheese. Look at that. Go ahead and put it. <laughs> the roast beef itself is nothing like amazing. All out of this world. I agree, I agree, I agree. But it's just really, really soft, well cooked, uh, and then with the cheese on top of it, I mean. You like the cheese. I mean, it's <laughs> away from me. Now let's go for the sous vide version. I also gave you one with cheese, one without cheese. Yeah. I'm guessing which one you want now. This one has a little bit more cheese than the other one. Eh? <laughs> little extra cheese, my mom. Just a little bit, look at that. <laughs> we also have the jus of it here. This is 100% the juices from the bag. <laughs> I wanna try it, oh, look at my mom. <laughs> I want to try it without the juices, and then we're going to dip it in and see if it's good saving the juices or not. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Wow. 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 You didn't slice it nearly as thin as the other one. I know. But I'll tell you, this is probably softer than the other one. It is softer than the other one. We had a little problem with the, my slicer. They know about it already. It's not as thin at all. 
and it is more tender. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the flavor. There's a distinct flavor there. I don't know if you can tell it. Can you tell? I'm getting like a little bit of hint of a smoke. Ah! <laughs> yes, I know. Yes. yes. I smoked it for a little bit before I actually cooked the sous vide. Mm. I didn't smoke it too much. I smoked it just a little bit. You guys saw it, it gives a nice, wonderful smoke ring. Just a light smoke for two hours. That's it, nothing else. 100 times better than the Arby's. There's no comparison at all. What do you think? Get this out of here. <laughs> Mama, you're almost done. I'm done. Mama, Mama. <laughs> You gotta try with the dip. You got the other half of the dip. Have to go. As you can tell, Mama really enjoyed this one, everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. I wanna try it with the dip. You ready? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, always God. better with the dip, everybody. Always better. Extremely tender, juicy, flavorful. Mm. A lot more flavor than the original roast beef from Arby's. It is amazing, everybody. The juice adds more beefiness to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And not just beefiness to the steak, it adds beefiness to the bun, too. I know. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> beefiness 100% on everything, everybody. And definitely save the juices. You like the juice? I, I don't want to double dip in there. So. <laughs> Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you oh, do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Omar, you all right? Do yourself a favor, go out right now. <laughs> Buy an arrow round. And make this happen. And do whatever he just did on this video, because, <laughs> wow. It is not expensive and it is a lot, my mouth. Ooh. I still have almost three pounds left of iron. <laughs> Amazing, everybody. Not for long. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm going to go ahead and finish mine.